Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where everything is working and Trainer just said something about Reaper activity on what's it called? Chachanka, blah blah blah. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, Trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Mm. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. Mm. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Right, you get to do whatever you want for the thing that you love, like, or, you know, whatever job you have that you really enjoy. <laughs> and you, uh, just living out of a shoebox is the requirement? I live out of a shoebox, so I'm, I understand. <laughs> um, Desi Asari, scientist Rana Thanoptis, has died in custody, allegedly is committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said Thanoptis was spoke of voices in her head, which they believed to be indicative of her indoctrinations. Anyone fighting the Reapers needs to die. Yeah, this is, this is the woman that we saved twice. Um, yeah, she worked for Saren... She received a pardon for providing research assistance. They believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device, killing five visiting Asari military officials while well, four civilians. Investigators say they are not seeking any more suspects in the case. So yeah, um, usually when I play through Paragon now, I don't actually save her um, because I know she does this in the end. Um, but honestly, it was just kind of kind of dumb. To, I don't know, maybe on the first one you leave her alive there. But then seeing her in Mass Effect 2 back in a bad place again, it's like, listen, lady, maybe you just have bad luck. But uh, I'm not taking my chances. You're probably indoctrinated. But for this one, since since this is like sort of mimicking a blind playthrough, I just went Paragon the whole way. Holding the line. This is just his whole spiel, isn't it? Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you get on Sir Kesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. So be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help. Yes, yes, thank you, Carrie. From Fer Oh, Farron, it's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and Layar is with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and tripping over the drone. Uh, dug up some interesting da data for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps. Shepard is getting rough out there. He now he's footloose and fancy free. Yes, yes, I'll make the rounds. A major mission has just been concluded, and so now, we must chat. Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting people, <laughs> not wanting to die. And... No, that's about it's it. pretty big, though. <laughs> Those are pretty significant things. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well? You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorja? The Krogan are cannon fodder. Oh my gosh. Listen, Jugger. <laughs> the Vorja. Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to. <laughs> Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. I love him so much. <laughs> It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. Yes. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of That's a year. That's too many. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, 
they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the crew. Oh, excellent. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable That's to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. Uh, logistics! The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Edie, this would not go half as well without you. Shepard's not designed to think about logistics. I'm sure somebody else would have brought it up, but... We're, me and Rex and the Primarch, we're not... It's not what we do, so. I mean, you do to a limited extent, obviously, in ex extent, yeah, in certain situations. Uh, I don't need to go. I am here. My memoron. A memoron. Uh, I just my first thought. I literally like looked over here because I was like, I'm gonna go in here and then cry for a bit because my lover is in the hospital and will not be coming out. That's cool, it's fine. I need to go talk to somebody else now. Haha. <laughs> so many rooms on my ship are empty because they don't put my companions in them anymore. Still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> I bet you she could take him on. Oh, I thought I was. Oh, maybe I look over here first. I was calling every supply depot station around this crucible to find enough pure platinum. An hour later, ship pulled up a 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the shadow broker. Ship's captain emailed me later saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. <laughs> yeah, good luck. He wasn't inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our culture? Probably both. <laughs> Stop saying shadow and broker out loud in this same sentence to anyone in sight. Um, he told me to go here. And ask the drone for help, but uh, alas, I don't care that much. Come on, I'm trying to. Ready for the next mission? Yeah, sure. Greetings, Commander. Alright, that's too late. I'm already leaving. You're too late. Alright, usually that medical facility isn't that busy, but there's like a zillion people in there now. Shepard. They say female Krogan have a thing for guys they with scars. They do. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning a arranged <laughs> marriage to cement this. <laughs> Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. It's true. I'm glad he recognizes that. Now we got a party in here. Aware Krogan females find scars. Attractive. Oh my gosh. Jealous, loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, <laughs> Doctor, I'm not interested. For the third time. Ah, Shepard. We were just. Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful, or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. 
Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patients. Mm -hmm. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Salarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. <laughs> Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. <laughs> a word when you have a moment, Shepard. <laughs> or Solarian doctors. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. <laughs> and you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive. We'll avoid sensitive subjects. <laughs> They're gonna be friends. I can't believe I just talked to Garrus about this car. He's been saying that since Mass Effect 2 since Mass Effect 2 that he's worried Krogan women will be all over him. And I'm like, listen, <laughs> listen, buddy. <laughs> I think they got I don't know if you quite measure up to a Krogan. <laughs> Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Currently stable, but lack of Malin's research data. This is what I've done. There's nothing we can do about that now. No. I hate to ask this, but will it affect the cure? No, cure will remain viable, but Eve's long-term prognosis, doubtful. Do what you can for her. Of course. Oh, I actually, I'm going to look it up and hopefully I edit it out, but I don't think it affects the outcome. It might. Let me double check. I forgot it affected the outcome that way. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So this is a delicate situation. Wishing we'd save the data? Pointless to consider. Correct decision at the time. Even if it would have helped now? Recrimination's useless. Data lost. Have to deal with consequences. Would like more data, yes. Would make it easier to save Eve, but destroyed it. Tainted source, too dangerous, I thought. Mm-hmm. It's just, there is that, you know, that it's like, it was, it was tainted, I guess, yeah, is a good way to put it. Any word on Malon himself? Maybe he could help reconstruct the data. No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy, lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Uh, I mean, we don't have that data, but I guess this is like the hypothetical. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. Mm. You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. I'm gonna cry, oh my gosh. 
Like, geez, could you imagine? You're just like, she's only like in the base of like her enemies and like is potentially a threat to the, everything they've done. And like one person shows her a kindness and that's all she can ask is like, please, like not just for herself being able to have kids, but for her entire species, you know? You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without probing oh, support. Yeah. Probing need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Inter yeah, it is that was very succinct. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. It's interesting, right? We're like, it's not like it. It's not necessarily for him. It's not a, like... It was bad then, so I'm gonna fix it now. But it, it was. It did seem like it was the only... It was the only action they could take back in the day, right? The genophage. But, like, now it's been long enough and a new situation has arisen that necessitates changing course like you said i really it, it's very succinct but i really i do like the way he says it it makes a lot of sense maybe it's a bit cold sounding maybe for some people but it makes sense to me nice talking with you morden thank you shepherd glad to be back you planning to stick around when this is over until reapers dealt with at least then not sure have made impact on galaxy genophage modification genophage cure work against collectors decisions mistakes might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. That'd be nice. You'd go crazy inside an hour. <laughs> Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> Might run tests. Oh, yeah. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. <coughs> I didn't think the Krobin had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. <coughs> I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. Woo! Let's go in. This is... I really love meeting Eve. She's an amazing character for one thing, but also hearing more about the Krogan and the Krogan female side of things is just super fascinating. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. I think you get to keep this. I don't remember. I almost feel like at one point I was upset because I didn't actually get to, like, see the crystal. And it seemed very significant. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes, after my first stillborn. It's rough. It really, it can't, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes into that. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. 
The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. What do you think of Rex? Speaking of males... When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka. He's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And <laughs> that, you can tell mm -hmm. him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. And that's what people are worried about, but I do think we got that. That's later's problem at this point, you know? How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. Like obviously, since the since the women are, um, did most of them died? Malin's experiments to try to cure it were haphazard at best. You know, like he did manage to make the cure. Like, there's no denying the genius in that. But like, if if it had been Morden, for example, like he's 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 taking these contingencies, like the the immunodeficiencies, and like the the problems that could happen with the cure into consideration, and and I think Malin did too. But like, he started doing live tests on on women way too soon. You know, like I don't know. I'm sorry, none of the other females survived. I know, the youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. That she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, yeah. but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How has Morden been treating you? <laughs> Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. <laughs> but I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry watch your offspring have an allergy to dairy and a Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> well, it wasn't his ear. He's always done his best, I think, to try to have like he has like big picture things, but he went he like went and landed on Tuchonka during the genophage modification project in order to see like the actual Kroger. like he he knew the cost, like he'd seen it before, you know. But uh, still, seeing these women doing their best to survive, and like, who were willing to go through so much just for the chance to cure this, to be able to have children, viable children, is just like you know. I think that would change you after a while. <laughs> I mean, you would hope, anyway. 
Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I think it's hilarious. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility Hell on yeah. you. Hell yeah. No more than your people have put buff, on you. Buff women unite. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. Deal. I love it. <laughs> Strong women together, working for a better future. <laughs> Legit, it makes me all like warm and fuzzy inside, you know? I do, I do love playing, I love talking with Eve as, as a female shepherd. I, I don't think, no, yeah, I never got to her when I, when the one time I erroneously played a male. <laughs> Alright, oh wait, no, we're not here, not, not for Steve yet. Hang on, Steve, we're coming. <laughs> He's gonna yell at me. Not really. It's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. Someone's gonna take you seriously. The Asari Republics vote on stuff like this. We'd all save every world if we could, but we can't. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us in chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion. I don't even want to be involved like in it? this, but I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna go with my crewmate because I don't like her. Lose the piece or lose your spot on this ship, Allers. This is exactly what I was. Yeah, well, of. you got on here knowing Thanks, that. Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. Friggin', I get it. I don't want to be necessarily like you know what is it the um. What is the word I'm thinking of that's like such a freaking byword in American politics, but repression of the press or whatever, but I don't know. I don't like her, so it's personal. I don't like her. I think she's pretty useless for the most part. And I'm, I'm not going to, like, tell my crewmate guy to back down on, I don't know. Honestly, like, her, her, it's an opinion piece. It's not a big deal. Like... I mean, it is kind of, it's emotionally a big deal, what she's saying, is to, like, lose Terra Nova and save five other colonies, which is true. Like, she's not wrong, and it's something that's going to have to happen in the future. Um, unfortunately, slightly spoilers, I guess, for her, uh, it's her colony that's going to end up actually being destroyed so that others can be saved, or, like, lost, I guess, so that others can be saved. Um, so, I don't know. I just don't like her, so I didn't, I'm like, whatever. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them Collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones she encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Ugh, now I feel bad. I shouldn't- I should've- like, technically, it's like, okay, you can post your opinion pieces. Like, obviously, it's not a big deal. Like, but I just don't like her, so. No. <laughs> Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? Oh, my gosh. How far they have Well, let's gone. talk about... The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat first. His reply was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand that one. He's unique. <laughs> well, he's, he's unique even for Solarians. This Cerberus. I do not understand why your own kind would oppose I mean, you guys had your own. They would bleed the same as everyone if the Reapers are not stopped. You're the one talking about, like, the... There's traitors in every cycle. The Rex Krogan offered me he a He definitely job. would. He said whenever I tired of the easy life of luxury on the Normandy, he would give me something real to shoot at. You guys would get along. Yes. Okay. Because Javik doesn't have a ton of cutscenes, you poke him a lot, and he talks to himself, talks to you, sort of. Um, at you, I guess. Alright, Steve. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to hear it. Look, I'm sorry. Rex is, uh, he's a force of nature. Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. What do you mean? Normally, I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800-pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. Just one more diagnostic suite. Okay. It was wise. I don't want Steve smeared against the bulkhead or anything. 
What? Wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Cash. Interfering. I hear we're headed to Tachunka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Oh, you want to come? Rex is a bat. Oh, yeah. I bet he's got some real interesting stories. I did bother him about that once. It was really hard to get anything out of him. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Hey. Hey. I guess all of them that I could just poke. Potential. Well, Leora doesn't really, but James and Javik. They don't have a ton of cutscenes. I guess Garrus doesn't either. Maybe I should poke him more. I don't know. I feel like they usually don't have much to say. Oh, I should. Where is... Where are you at? I love you. This just frustrates me because as far as I know, I can't see who's got what equipped. So I can't pick out which ones I want correctly. I also don't like how every single upgrade pops up. It makes me not want to buy things en masse. Um, but here we go. Okay, I'll let that go. <laughs> I'll just let it go, I'll let it do its thing, but I am going to go ahead and call this one here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Guido, my satin tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest, and I super appreciate all your support very, very much. Thank you again. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.